In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect a Sony PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 wireless controller to a Mac. As you're about to see, it is shockingly difficult. After that, I will give you a brief pros and cons using this uh, gaming controller and show you some emulators that I have used and had success with. So let's get on with it. First, you need to make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Press this middle button on the controller and the light will come on. A window should pop up. Click on the connect button and it's connected. <coughs> oh, end of tutorial. Whilst we're at it, if you want, you can right click on the list and rename it to anything you want. As I have decided to be creative for once, I will rename mine to PS4 controller. Now onto some pros and cons. So let's start with the positives. As you saw, it's super easy to connect and you get the convenience of being wireless. Whether you like the PS4 controller or not, it's down to your preference. With the risk of being called a fanboy despite owning Xbox, PlayStation or Nintendo over the years, I have to say the PlayStation controller isn't my favorite one. I don't find it very comfortable to hold. I don't mind the platform, of course, it's just the controller that I have the issue with. Nonetheless, it works, so that's fine as I'm only a casual gamer. Now, here are some things that you should be aware of. It doesn't support the rumble vibration dual shock mm -hmm. function, or at least in the games that I have tried, which is kind of to be expected uh, as long as it works, so I'm kind of happy with that. Secondly, I have noticed a slight lag issue compared to my wired controller. It's very minimal, but I found in games like Shenmue, I would miss those quick time events more often when using the PS4 controller compared to my Xbox wired connection. But again, these are only minor issues. However, one of the biggest issues I had in the past was that I had trouble connecting it to my Mac in the first place. Here's what happened. I actually bought this controller back in like 2016 or so. Uh, back then I was still using Sierra or High Sierra on my Mac. Despite reading online articles saying it would work, uh, that's why I bought it in the first place, even though I don't own a PS4. I never managed to get it to uh, stay connected reliably. It would always like disconnect for some reason. Uh, that is the reason why I went through all the troubles trying to get the Xbox 360 controller to work instead. Uh, check that video out if you have or prefer to use a Xbox uh, controller. Having said that, I'm happy to say it now works flawlessly with my current Mojave Mac OS. I have tested it with apps like Redream or OpenEMU and they work perfectly fine in Redream. It works right out of the gate with no setup required. With OpenEMU, you have to select the controller in the drop down menu within preferences. As you can see, it's uh, identified it correctly. Just double check with your game setting if it doesn't work at first. And lastly, if you want to turn off the controller, just hold the um, middle button for 10 seconds. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. My name is Joe. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.